Really? Nice. I wonder what goes into the calculations exactly why it takes so long. It's like, boof, now you are here. Yeah, my dude. So, how'd it go? Did you get some good shots? How about these? Puppy smash is go away. Puppy smash is go away. Saving those. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Real nice. I should be good now. It's all gonna work out. You see, I sort of shoved this feature down their throats, and uh, now I'm on the hook for it. A couple of sloppy shots, and I'd never hear the end of it. So, what are you? The editor or something? Editor? I'm the president. <laughs> huh? President and CEO, Meteor Publishing Incorporated. What? Surprised? <laughs> <laughs> Guess I don't act too presidential. Anyway, now you know who I am. Let's keep working together. Okay. Sure, my bro. Keep paying good. Spinning a yard five. Ten thousand gil. Another scorcher. Ought to pack our bags for leave and cool down there. There's my favorite camera team. I've got another job for you. Interested? Yeah, sure. I'm still working on that feature about the old legends. This time, I need a photo of the royal tomb that lies in the fall grove. Um, why do you need that? Come on, you know why. There's a close link between the legends and the Lucian royal family. There's danger in them woods. You up for it? Sure. Sure. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Try to get a picture of the nearby gate as well. It's a good example of classic Lucian design and architecture. And yes, I am most definitely going to use that 10,000 gil as another boost as a middle finger to this game. This game want to insta-kill me? You don't mind me taking pictures of the tombs? Why would I? But yeah, if this game wants to insta-kill me, if this game wants to be Jane Dingle, I'm going to murder it as an overpowered god. And then I'm going to save up the by level AP things. I can't believe you managed to bring it all back. Our part of the deal's done. Is this what you came for? <laughs> sure. Help yourself. Go nuts. I'll take as much as I can carry. Sheesh. Don't hold back or anything. <laughs> but sure. I guess we do owe you. Let's see, what other quests do I need to turn in? Aha! Need to turn that in. And then just the main quest. And then I'm going to have to leave a note to myself. Next time you play, cash in all those points. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do that after we do the main quest thing, unless something happens. The main quest, then we're teleporting over there, and we're going to stay the night purely for the billions of billions upon... Correction. We're gonna go with that and do that before the main quest because that might force us to rest. And I refuse to let that happen. Oh. Quest. I long to quest. I'm here to quest. Your wife got a promotion. Congrats. Hey. I am here to quest. Oh, did I sell a supple tail? I think I sold a supple tail. Damn. No, that would be under quest item, wouldn't it? Uh, 
Ah, uh, well, I guess this one is now barked forever. Because I was just on a selling spree. I don't see no supple tails here. Oh, well, that's stupid. You can sell items that you're meant to do, blah, blah, blah. I guess I'll have to go and get more supple tails. So, dear Regalia, we are going to map point. Yes. Oh, well, that's cool. That that's how you would just go around the map and do it. Nice. So we're going to go there, stay the night, and get a super boost because middle finger to game and teach it, how dare you, how dare you, how dare you not only throw magitech people at me while I'm fighting a giant snake, but also how dare you insta-kill me even though I hadn't been put into my danger zone yet. This is my revenge. By power leveling as all fuck. But don't we have other quests to turn in? We have a Gleaming Regalia and those two. That gives me 2006. So you know what? Parasite Extra screw it. Seriously? To Ahmed! Excuse you, motherfucker. I want to go to Ahmed, you stupid motherfucker. Yes. Oh, we're not gonna Everything just super final yeah. me there? Alright. Oh, because it's late at night. Does it look like I care? No. Exactly. Damn it. Stop it. Do as I command. If y'all are having car trouble, Cindy's your girl. Welcome back. You find the place all right? Yep, I sure did. No surprise there. Y'all can hang on to that. That's your reward. Spray your car with a coat of that stuff, and it'll keep her looking spick and span. Y'all want to treat the old girl right, don't you? And nothing feels better than driving around in a clean car. More quests. Well, hey there, Prince. Another favor? You guessed it. Must be written all over my face. You see, one of our regulars tipped me off to something real special. Little thing called a supercharger, and a pretty powerful one at that. You boys wouldn't happen to be interested in one, would you? Fella snatched it from a scrap car, but didn't know what to do with it, so he left it. If y'all want it, it's yours for the taking. Head to Vespa Pool. Oh. I wonder where Vespa Pool is. Ah, it's up there. Quest's heading in that direction now. Main quest will have to soon too. I love how passionate Cindy gets when she talks about cars. Yeah, it's actually pretty cute. What? Dude, could <laughs> you not? Not what? The supercharger comes with Cindy's seal of approval, and that is worth the search. And if we find the supercharger, maybe we'll earn her seal of approval, too. You hear this? As if he actually has a chance. Let the kid dream. Uh. Uh. Oh. Well, look at all that. You boys brought back a whole truckload. I took as much as I could carry. How much? Nothing. Whoa-hoo. Now, y'all didn't pull a heist, did you? No. You think I'm a thief? Uh. Forgive me, son. Just uh, reminded me of my own past is all. Must have been 30 years ago. Once tried to steal food from here. Till old Sid done caught me. Wrapped me right on the noggin and took me in. This here will keep you fed, so uh, you won't have to steal. I'm like 50 mil... I have 50,000 gil. You stop, you stoop. Oh, griffin breast. Those are good. 
Oh. And more quests for you. Oh, hey there. Hey. Y'all got spare time? A hunt? Yep. And it's a dangerous one. Do you need it? Sure do. Then we'll do it. Thanks, son. <laughs> This one's not that far away, and it's worth 3,000. But now, since all the quests are already in boobity boobity. Huh, you two are like old buddies <laughs> now. It's like you've got a bond that doesn't need words. I suspect you've built an unspoken trust. More of a saying the same thing <laughs> trust. And now, auto on over to Golden Quay. Skip there. And then we'll go down to 32,000 gil to do a super level up. And now we're here to stay the night and get super powerful. Would you be staying the sure. night with us? Power me, Manfred. Three days elapsed. Wow. <laughs> and now, power level me. Nothing. Nothing. Guess they're right. You just keep taking pictures of that place over and over and over again. Wow. Hey, this one's pretty good. At least they didn't say it over I the know. shitty ones. I dig it too. And I'm going to quickly go over my ascension stuff to see if there's anything super special I want. And get you later. Oh yes, we're definitely getting health level number two next. Unless there's something interesting over here. No. Then we're definitely going to try and get some... Health level two. Those would be very nice. I'm going to go ahead and save. Aye, aye, aye. Been going for a long time. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to go do the main quest first. Going to see, actually make some progress beyond... We killed some things in a cave. We're just going to go f fast forward to Lestalem. Do the quest and see what anybody has to say. Who knows? Maybe the place will get attacked. Maybe we'll have to infiltrate the mm, generator place and reenact Final Fantasy VII. Look at that dancing shadow. It's like a dubstep waveform. Alrighty then. So what's next? Ask around a little? It's up to Noct. We are gonna go grab ourselves a Final Fantasy main quest. Ding da ding 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 ding. Ding da ding ding ding. Ding 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 ding. Quest time. Prince Noctis. Welcome back. Your story came to a happy end. <laughs> well, well. We owe you, Talca. You're welcome. Ah, um. Splendid. You've done well, my boy. Talk. 
Not unlike you and your father when you were little. Hmm. You think so? And now, headache migraines. Evil eyes of goblins. Oh no. They spoiled that in the trailers. Not again. What's the, the golem is real. All right. He'll be fine, don't worry. But we ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Then look no further than the outlook. We can use the viewer things. No substitute for being on site, but it would be a start. Let's see what we can glean of Nock's condition. I know what's gonna happen. Huh. We're gonna go there. We're gonna look through them, and we're gonna see something. And they're like, we have to go to the disc. And that something's gonna be like, oh, well, now I have to go over there because I want to see what happens next. Oh, well, that's a quick way to get to the... I shall try to remember that. That you can get to the hotel super duper fast from there. Awesome. Dude! Oh, this is gonna be a party. Huh? Concocted a I dare say I can recreate this. Oh! Whoa. It's this dude! What a coincidence. I'm not so sure it is. Aren't you like the right hand man? Three rhymes curious things. Like this one. From the deep, the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. We in? I don't know. We take a ride. But watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's yeah. do it. I like this dude. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please call me Arden. Come with me to the car park. That's where I left my automobile. <laughs> she's a dear old thing. Pales next to your regalia, but she's never let me down. Even though this guy is... So, we take two vehicles. A convoy of sorts. Shall we? Even though this guy is most likely evil, I like him. I honestly hope that he's a turncoat, that he's uh, secretly helping us, even though he's uh, was there when the Empire destroyed the uh, Insomnia. Oh, gosh, dang it, Ignis! Set. Yes. Fine. Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. I choose you. I choose you. I'll take the wheel then. Fine by me. I'll be amiable. You drive your car and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. <laughs> the open world. I wonder what that is. I'll have to look at a dish redo. Oh, uh, uh, mm -mm. black screen. Story time. Oh, end of chapter. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You wouldn't cheat me out of my double XP. Ha. <laughs> this is even. Oh, oh I love it. Save. And I guess that'll be it. End of chapter, but I'm going to continue for a little bit longer. And then probably end on a cliffhanger. Chapter 4. Living Legend. As the land is rocked by tremors, Noctis is racked with headaches. The self-styled Man of No Consequence advises the would-be king to go and heed the Archean's call. Though loath to believe a suspicious stranger, the four friends nevertheless find themselves of no recourse but to follow Ardeen to the Disk of Carthus, where Titan is said to slumber. I hope he's a good guy at heart. 
He's a suspicious man of no consequence. But I like him. I like the cut of his jib. Toast! The blessing of the gods. Just to be clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass. All right, me. sir. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident will spoil the trip. All right, all right. It's hit the road already. As you wish, drive safely now. Oi, what the f First Galden and then Lestalem. What a coincidence, huh? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? That question bothers me deeply, as does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. Heh. <laughs> I was busy making a turn, so I missed what they said, but I think I got the gist of it. I'd sooner not rely on him. But he may be our only way in to the Disk of Cothus. What's his highness's opinion of this, Arden? <sighs> Don't really have one. He's nothing more than a creepy old dude to me. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with a plan. Gotta watch our backs the whole way. Knocked. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, all right? Let him gain a bit of way, so no tailgating, he said. So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants to camp. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm grounds, much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature, what's not to like? Now in the wild, there are no rules to follow. No checkout time. I dare say you had knocked with no checkout time. I'm all for extra sleep. I'm not saying it's easy, but I envy the hunters. What say we call it a day here? What say we continue on to Carthus? The Archeum's not going anywhere? Neither are we under your stewardship. <laughs> so we make camp with our <laughs> Hell no. <sighs> Might as well get the tent up. Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Okay. Now this feels like a road trip. <laughs> yeah, go figure. Now this feels like a road trip. <laughs> but I don't have any experience because it already tallied all my stuff. <laughs> and he's actually there. <laughs> Talking. This is amusing to me. Ah. Uh, only one. Well, well, if it isn't yours. <laughs> oh, the. Uh, if you'd rather not be in photos. Oh, I don't mind at all. <laughs> Snap away. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I hope that he can be uh, like you know, it'd be awesome as if he can become like a party member, but he probably won't be. Below the beast whistle to summon enemy combatants. What? You can summon enemies? Oh, f flashback? Please, set your heart at rest. I shall do what I can to ease your suffering. Oh, Lady. Oh. 
She is a glowy. Blessed stars of life and light, deliver us from darkness plight. That is all I can do for now, but trust that relief will come in a matter of days. It's a miracle. Thank you, Lady Luna Freya. Oh, Lady Luna Freya. I left at dawn to come see you. You must be exhausted. A, a fair bit, but more grateful than anything. Let us begin at once. Flashback. We should have done more, like taken her in. Damn right. She could have bunked at my place. Or mine. I'm sure her missus would understand. Don't think being married will give you an excuse not to work out. That came out of nowhere. You can't just let yourself go with the eyes of the world on you. Uh, I don't know about that. He seems to have pulled it off Burn. so far. What does that mean? All the more reason he needs to clean up his act now. Feel sorry for Lady Luna Freya if he doesn't. <laughs> He's got you there, Noct. Everyone would be like, Oh, she could do so much better than him. What does the Oracle need the Prince for anyway? <sighs> Imagination run wild much? But considering that the game has gotten me interested, I shall continue the story right now with Arding. I mean, I already did a whole bunch of side quests, and I'm actually quite keen to get the story on the road, considering that... A lot of these are kind of ish away, and this is still around the disc. Good morning to you. Good morning. Let's see if this guy has anything interesting. What can I do? Sell me your soul. Thank you. Let's talk to Arden. I should warn you. We're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. Drive on to the disc. The point of no return. A. Not yet. Very well. Let me know when you are ready. I will save. Oh, there's only ten slave slots. Alrighty. If it so turns out that this is indeed a point of no return and things break. I will revert my save. I should warn you. We're about to pass the point. Yes, let's drive, boy. Again, no tailgating, yada yada yada. Blink a bleh. I'm, re I'm reaching the five hour mark of recording on a single thing. I'm scared. Whoever thought of tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby. Pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say. But the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. <laughs> or any day for that matter. Memes! His unceasing toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disguise. Makes you wonder what it's like down there at his feet. That's an interesting vault. So you know, it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. I think. We don't have a spare if it breaks. Leave it in the car? Oh no, I'm taking it. Not every day you get up close and personal with the Archean. I'd kick myself if I missed the photo op. Spoken like a true photographer. Yeah. As they say, better to try and fail than never to try at all. Look at you. Well, they say that. <laughs> Well, you just do what you gotta. Get back here, Arden. Hey, Iggy. Can your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be alright. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, my vision is possible without corrective lenses. 
then why not take them off sometimes? Well, you don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed. I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah, I think I'm getting the picture now. And thus Prompto put on his own pair of glasses, philosophically speaking. Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively <laughs> frightening. What are you saying? That I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. I guess nothing can take your mind off Knox driving. Alright, and then pull up alongside Arden. We're here. Better not be a setup. Have I given you reason to doubt me? You don't really inspire confidence. <laughs> yeah, not very straightforward. Hello, it's me. Be so kind as to open up. Wow, that worked. I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with divinity lies ahead. You're leaving? I drop you at the Archean's open door. And with that, bid you farewell. I like this dude. Thank you, Arden. The others might not trust you, but I do. Met some weirdos. I hope we never meet that oh, one come again. on. Whoa, a little harsh there, don't you think? The guy really knew his stuff about nursery rhymes. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. I'm a little scared of driving here, like we're gonna lose the regalia. Considering the things that I've seen in the trailers, wouldn't put it past them. I guess we leave the car here. So we keep going this way. Then we'll find out what the Empire's up to. Oh, me and me getting to a point where it's like, I'll keep going. These ruins. What are they ancient? Tell us, Ignis history lesson. What? Not a hidden item? Pitiful. Is that what? Is a meteor? Is? Didn't expect to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab oh. that power. Hey, Highness. Let's grab it and go. That is weird. Canadians are weird. It's just out in the open. I guess this was a royal tomb before the meteor fell, and then it got busted open, but still alive. Well, first up. Yeah, you got four weaponry. I've never used one of them in combat. Like, I think I may have like used one. Here we go again. This one's huge. Get away! Quickly! Uh-oh. We're literally going to his feet. Knocked! My gotcha! Come on, pull yourself up. You really need to wear long sleeve coats. He's pissed. Titan. God damn. This is the Archean? Seems we woke the big guy up. He's trying to tell me something. But what? Knocked! You okay? Well, thank heavens you're safe. He ain't got no penis. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You two. What? We're going where? <laughs> Don't rush off on your own, huh? Don't get left behind. Wise guy. So we're gonna go have a nice chit chat with the Archean. Let me.
go to my Elamancy and cook up a super powerful fire spell. Ooh, up to four times. Why have I been getting rid of those beetle shells? Equip, ding, ding, quad cast. Work those quads. <gasps> They're on edge. Let's not ruffle their feathers anymore. Um, try shutting your beak. Just offering sound advice. Yeah, like a parrot in my ear. The flames spreading forth cause characters to overheat and gradually lose XP. How about no? Jerk! That's it. You go down with a giant hammer. Oh. It's making me woozy. <sighs> How the hell does it get this hot? It feels like I'm about to combust. More electricity. And more fire. I guess unless more fire pops its head, I shall stick with what I have currently. Sharp tail feathers. Damn. Oh, more fire? Well, we can't just let this go to waste. Let's go to Elamancy. Another one. Let's see. Dual cast, tri cast, sweet pepper. Oh, I'm not going to go super crazy. Store. And that'll be that. See how much fire was left? Would have been a crime. Unless you want to fall to the Time literal to chill either. Hmm. Make it quick. You fall, you're probably gonna meet the feet of the Titan. Just want this to be over. What is glitching out down there? Oh. Rocks. Hang on. My head. Again. Of all the time. At least it's let's hurry the hell across. At least it didn't happen while we were driving, right? Is there somebody's groaning in my ear? No. What now? The Archean ain't happy. Whoa, Archean. Hey! Titan! What's the big idea? Save it. Get to solid ground first. <laughs> Faster! Calm down. I'm going as fast as I can. You're holding up the stinking thing. Stop trying to grab us. You can... I mean, then again, what would happen if you dropped the meteor now? He'd ruin a landmark for one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Almost there. Thank God for this being just a tiny bit out of way. Jesus. Hurry! That <laughs> tossed me across. He's smiling. That's his welcome. Hate to see how he treats intruders. You want to talk? So do I. Yeah, the feeling's mutual. Let's move. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Oh, a mega phoenix just on the ground. Jesus Christ, a lot of magic. I'm not going to let this go to waste. Wrong one. Going to go.
<laughs> Cup Noodles, level 99 healing. But seriously, I wonder what's up with the Archean Titan dude. Why is he reaching for me? Pick up the stinking thing. A mega elixir. It'll come in handy. Oh, this is basically a dungeon. Ugh, I'm sick of this endless whining. Uh, it's you say as you stumble. And I'm sick of your endless whining. Calm I think you need down. the one that's Count you need to back. calm down. Are you a man of royal blood? This is sudden. You? Of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. We Amicidia are the king's sworn shields. Guard the king with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty, and I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, all right? All right. Guys, words lit a fire and his heart. Now, Ryle, Nox's strength has increased 50%. That's weird. Sorry, but I had to get it out. Come on. <sighs> and remember, don't rush ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad, huh? I I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? But isn't that your phone? Who be it? Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are here. What are they doing here? I got cut off. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial company. It's about to get even hotter in here. More magic. Well, if they come down here, I'm giving them a taste of lightning. We finally made it. I know. Sword, 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 sword. Sword, sword. Hello, dear Titan dude of creepiness. Hello. Hey, I'm here. It you want? Quit screwing with my head! He's gonna smash you, dude. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Point warp. Why does he want to kill me? Are you alright? I owe you one. This ain't gonna work. We gotta run. Best advice you've given all day. I can't have you dying here. Come on. Ow. Need to dodge. Ow. Ow! I it won't let me out. That was the wrong button. Stupid. Ow! Quit reverting my camera! We're sitting ducks here. Hurry! Yeah, don't need to 
Thank you, Gladius. With you. Don't stop. Run. He just won't quit. Here's the moment the trailers all wanted. And awesome music. Jesus Christ. Wow, you're holding. You're holding back a Titan. And goodbye, Gladio. Time to go again. I'll keep going forever. Ah, there was the counter button, but I missed it. There we go. Not much of a counter. Oh, his he flexed. I'm not gonna take any more of this crap. They're shooting at the Titan. Destroy the Titan's arm, it says. When the Amagar is active, Noctis can deplete the rest of the Amagar bar or perform Amagar chain. The powerful joint attack with his friends, the more energy left in the bar, the more powerful the attack. We're all here. Let's do it. Let's go, fellas. Oh, yeah. Ready. Still fighting while holding up a meteor. 
that needs to be said. Trying to get at the Imperials. I missed. Oh. Ow. I'm trying to lock on to the stinking Titan. What, 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 what? Ignis and Prompto have a trick up their sleeves. Blizzara, team up da to damage them and put their plan to action. Do I have any Blizzaras? No, wrong one, jackass. Still here? Yep, we should have gotten way more here. experience for that. Battered. Does this mean it's over? Nope. Uh, what? What is it now? What is he doing? All you did was piss him off. He's winding up for the big one. <laughs> He's going our command. Is now. That was Luna. You spoke with her. That's why. That's why what? Magical fairy dust. Got kind of anticlimactic things there. Please don't. Her does. We run now. The Empire. Now They've been here. We can understand the why are they here now? Hello, Arden. Knew it. Fancy meeting you here. It occurs to me I never formally introduced myself. Izunia! Arden Izunia! Imperial Chancellor Izunia! At your service, and more importantly, to your aid! I guarantee your safe passage. Though you're always welcome to take your chances down there. Buried among the rubble, is it? Dying here is not an option. We have no choice, Doctor. Living legend. Not to squad the mark of the Archeon, a symbol of Titan's favor. We blew off his arm! <laughs> we blew off his arm!
we blew off his arm. He's like, okay, you're good. <laughs> what the hell? My uh, headache. I got a headache. Playing games too long. Blew off his arm. He's like, you know what? I'm okay with you. <laughs> And then, the titan screaming. That amuses me. That amuses me greatly. Favor after blowing off his arm. Chapter 5. Dark Clouds. As Karthus crumbles, the Imperial Chancellor swoops in to usher the four friends to safety. But their reprieve is only temporary, as disguised skies tell of trouble on the horizon. With the regalia missing and the roads closed, the four friends find themselves stranded. Well, at least that means that the Chancellor held his word. Several days later. High Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. There was an attack on the Citadel? Unless they're talking about Crown City, in which... The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Queen regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archeans who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest. Disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. The regalia and all related features are unavailable until the car is found. Damn it! And maybe we could ask Arden to help us out, <laughs> with them, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So, where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! Umbra, the doggy! Approach Umbra. And I mean... Let me put it this way. I am not walking. All that way for any damn quest. Oh, it actually shows the the tomb. Nice. But yeah, I am not walking for any quest until uh, at all. Well, get back here, you dog. Someone sending us a message. One second, Umbra. I'm gonna see if these guys have any new weaponry due to chapter changes. Take a look at our wares. Nope. I'll see you later. Ukatepatupe.
from behind the tree. <sighs> behind the tree. Gentiana. Hear me, O King of the Stone. You're weird. By the storm sender's blessing, will the path to the stone be opened? The Oracle goes hence in her king's name. Luna. Where is she now? The Eye of the Storm. <sighs> when the covenant is forged, the Oracle and Ring shall await their king at the walls of water. Stray not from the path. She's a messenger, a spirit, faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal. Yeah, I'm bright, cutie doggy. Another written thingy thing, probably. Doggy doggy. Do we write something in return now? Of course we do. Come on, give me choices. Still rolling along. Gotta be formal. Like, thank you, Luna. <laughs> Still rolling along would be a hilarious thing to write back, but I want to thank her. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for. Let Luna know I'm okay. And she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait, so my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the King of Light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. To aid the king is the oracle's calling. Then I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone, this voice is heard. Oh boy, you're in voices now. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth, it strikes. The storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Look at the three runestones of Rama hidden around Disgaea. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kayim may serve us now as it did them then. The hidden harbor. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Iris set up. Now, Webby. So, in the meantime. Head into the storm. Another day, another deity. Where be the chocobo posts? I want to rent some chocobos. Huh? Yes, yes, I know. We killed that guy already. So what'll it be today? Grab some grub before you go. Oh, there's the chocobo I'll post. Come back soon. I just been looking for you, chocobo post. We got Gil to chill. But summon enemies. Why is that a thing? Oh, there you are, my boy. Oh, jeez. Calm, calm, calm down. <sighs> Here. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Listen to these people. What's the big idea closing off our roads? Well, the Empire says it's for our own protection. From what? It's dangerous. Huh? There aren't any demons about right now. Because they're evil. Didn't you get the news? Oh yeah. I have a hundred, so let's go to Ascension. 
because there was a little thing thing that I wanted in the uh, terms of just he ridiculous health levels. 2,000, 3,000, 2,000, and still 1,000. Gotta make tracks. Ignis, we're going. On my way. But here's the thing. First Titan, now Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freyan must feel. If the strain of the rites is as Gentiana suggested, I fear she's far less off than we are. Because my thing is, I'm still a little bit hooked up on uh, Arden. Because, I mean, he led us to the disc of Kothis and the Titan, only to then turn around and then let us escape when we very well could have died and hey, Magitek engine. It's close. considering stuff like this uh, they're they pretty much don't want us dead how come that lady's helping you out anyway gentiana yeah is she like your fairy godmother or something i think she's more a messenger of the gods whoa well, i'm going to Put on some more magic because I got magics to spare. I got some quadcast Thundara for you. This will be quick. Well, <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> no holding. I back. just killed him. Get out of my way! That's my item. You. St you fluffer. <laughs> but that's that's funny to me though. Uh, my chocobo is burned. No, Chokey, No. But I still find it hilarious. Uh, I still find it interesting that Arden is just so Going on ahead. helpful. Does the Empire get some? Imperials above us. Thanks. Well, they're landing where we killed their friends, so it's no matter to me. That's an Imperial ship. The world is changing. Thanks for the ride. I'm going all out. Just don't get too carried away. Ow. Burn, baby. Onward. Hm. Yep. I, my chocobo is burnt. Let's go. Stinking rocks. Well, another deity, but I really hope that it isn't just now nice basically Pokemon gyms to gods. I just want it to be, I want it to be interesting. Imbue me with magic. Twelve years earlier. <gasps> she. Ah, the young prince is recovering well. Who? Gentiana, my messenger. The prince has read of our kind. Oh, I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. 
Lady Luna Freya. Yeah. Luna for Luna. It is heartening to see the future king and the Oracle enjoy such familiarity. The fate of our world may depend she opened on her eyes. I remember back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the storm sender awaits the king. Hurry hence to the eye of the storm. She's gonna be evil. Foreign hordes fear the true king's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. What is it? Another headache? I heard her. Gentiana. Divine voices in your head again? Hopefully it won't amount to the same headache it did with the Archeon. The Oracle's call awakens the gods. That their blessings bind the king. You all right? What did she say? Ah. Uh, at least... Oh, it gave me six. Is it just me or is awakening the six a bad thing? I've never been one for destiny stuff. No cause for concern. Not another one out. Quit stopping me. Probably call the chocobos now that the talking is over. Much less burnt chicken. Easy now. <sighs> but it's weird. We really went zero to sixty. It's just like, yeah, this stuff is happening, but we're still getting around to the meat of it, and then pff, we hit it full force. We went, met the Archean, met the Chancellor. And I don't know, this just seems to be a little weird compared to the, like, uh, basically what I was expecting com from what the movie set up. So is Gentiana, you know, human? Not quite. Well, not exactly gods, messengers are divine entities. Just like the oracle speaks to the gods for the people, the messengers speak to the people for the gods. So she's Lady Luna Freya's partner in divine. Hey! I completely forgot that I was gonna hunt the mustache cat. Imperials above us! Thanks. Stupid. Stinking. When will these end? When will these end? Around here, I'm guessing. Oh my. Oh, that's food. Thanks for the ride. I'll go on foot to the divinity. The covenant is forged, but the revelation awaits. Make now for the storm sender and let judgment be passed. Not you okay? And he's not responding. Oh, there yeah. we go. Another reminder to receive the blessing. That divine power is just waiting for you. Weird. Oh, thingy thing. Mega Phoenix. Hmm. O oh, King, journey to Fosha, the Eastern Hollow. That's a long ass way away. The seal has been lifted. Deep within the heart of rock lies the runestone. The portal to power. No other can be allowed to find it. The last one's in the cave. 
Let's hurry up and get this over. Same. With. Finally, time to meet with the storm sender. You'd better look your best. Too slow. Hate guns. Stupid guns. So now the plan is stop getting stopped by combat and make our way to the tomb and then we'll end off there because this is going Let's on go. for way too long I sincerely beg that it doesn't end with a cop-out storytelling be a good story please damn bushes Of course, they have to put it a mile away when our See, only when our what's even monster? What was even monster back there? I'm curious. Oh, nothing but a big toad magitek and magitek Trust. engines. Don't care. Got a tomb to do. Runestone magic. Bullshit. I feel sorry for people that tried to do this without. So, here's his story about Lady Luna Freya coming through town was true after all. Judging by the timing of her visit, she probably set course for the Archeum as soon as she fled to Ground City. <laughs> you really owe her big time, Noct. Can't wait to thank her in person. But yes, I was saying... What was I saying? Oh yeah, but I feel real sorry for people that tried to do this without chocobos. Chocobos really make the timing... But, but, the traveling much easier. Come on, pick up. No luck. Probably got her phone on silent. She's probably dead. Ah, <laughs> that's the place we killed Dead Eye. Which means. We went in the exact opposite direction of the Chocobo place to activate this thing, only to travel right past the Chocobo place again to get to the tomb. Great. Amazing. The power of the gods in the palm of your hands. Never dreamt I'd see lore come to life before my very eyes. Leaving insomnia was eye-opening? This is mind-blowing. I find it rather annoying. Uh, me me meeting the Titan was cool and all, but... Then you just have to go and throw it kind of down the cool river, and this is very barren. I was hoping that it would be like a scorched hill. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, wouldn't you know it? I knew this place was going to be important. The hell? I can't get a hold of her. Ears? That one was pretty close. Which means we must be as well. We must grab ore so we can repaint the regalia if we get her again. And tomb. Look, over there. I bet that's the spotlight. I knew this place would be important again. We're supposed to go inside. Not yet, though. Because it's, well, we've been going for too long. 
So surprise. It's the end for now. But I re so far this chapter has been off to a mess start. The past other chapters, let's see, the chap the other four chapters were good. They were great. I'm not so liking the way this one's going. I don't know, it feels kind of like a cop out. Just like Like I don't know. The battle against the Titan was cool and like go meeting up to him like it was building up to him. Even if it did kind of come out of nowhere. It was kind of building up to him for like what? A chapter and a half. But this one just feels a little bit rushed. If I swear. If we get another divine thingamajig right after the Titan, I'm going to be a little angry. But anyway, I've been Yon Ass Wings, and this has been more Final Fantasy XV. And let us go down a wonderful road. Tales don't paint at least.